Hello my viewers once again, this is James with your Microsoft X Access videos. We are continuing with setting up data types and field properties. This time round we are going to look at validation rules and validation text. It's very common for users to enter data in an erroneous way or with errors as they try to input data in the system, which often gives wrong information and makes it hard for decision making. So Access as a program has tools which it can use to help a user try and avoid some of the mistakes he can make during the data entry process. So that's where validation rule and validation text comes in. For example, on our database here, uh, we are going to assume if the room numbers are supposed to start at 100 and uh, we want the system to reject all those numbers which a user might enter that are below 100. So how do we do that? We shall go back to our view, design view, we click in room number, then we come down to validation rule. So we shall say this should be greater than or equal to 100. Then the information or the text which should appear it says the room number should be greater than o me should be greater than o equal to a hundred this should this is the information which should get the user in case they've entered something wrong. So we save this, say yes and yes, then you go back to view that I should view. Let us for example enter somebody here, uh, maybe Mike, uh, Mike Doe, Mike Doe is male, born false 8, 1990, is also in semester one. Is doing business, and maybe by mistake we enter a wrong room number. Let's say eighty. Notice that it will, you get this error message. Now this is the validation rule at work. It's telling you the room number should be greater than or equal to a hundred, and we have entered eighty, so that won't be allowed to enter in the system until when we come and maybe if we try again 50 still still gives you the warning that oh oh no the number should be greater than or equal to 100 so if we come and we put 150 for example we'll be allowed to proceed to the next stage and we can be in position to do the rest of our work so basically that is how the validation rule and validation text work. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.